This video will take you through the solutions to an exam type question on trigonometry. What you will need to know for this question is trigonometry in right angle triangles, something like Sokotoa, the sine rule, angle of elevation, angles in a straight line, angles in a triangle. And here's the question. A ruined building is fenced off for safety reasons. To find the height of the building, Amy stands at point A facing the building and she measures the angle of elevation as 18 degrees. She then walks forward 30 metres in a straight line to the base of the building to a point B, where the angle of elevation is now 32 degrees. Amy is 1 metre 60 centimetres tall. What's the height of the building? Now we'll just pause for a couple of seconds to allow you to think about how to start this. You might want to stop the video and then restart it when you've thought about what you would do. Well, the first thing I would do is put all the information on a diagram. I'd remove the, the building and just draw in triangles. Now you'll notice here I've called R this green line. It's not quite the height of the building because the height of the building I would need to add on this, but I know that's 1.6. So if I could find R, I could find the height of the building. So I'm looking for R. And what I will have a look at is, oh, I've got a right angle triangle here. And I'll draw this right angle triangle in for you. And that there. But all I've got on that is the angle here. And I want to find R. I've got no lengths of sides. So I don't think I can use my right angle triangle trig rules at the moment. But I do have another triangle there. It's not a right angle triangle. It's this one here. I've got there down to that one and along to that one. And I've got a bit more here. I've got the 18 degrees and I've got a length at 30 metres. Now, this is starting to look a bit untidy, so I'll, I'll clear that up. But just give you a minute to think, can I find any of the other angles in that triangle, that second one that I've had a look at? And that's it there. This time I've removed the, the drawing so you can see it a bit more clearly. And I think I could find that red dot, that angle there, because if I look at that plus that, these two would add up to 180. They're on a straight line. So to find the red dot, all I need to do is take the 32 away from 180 and it's 148 degrees. Now I could also find the third angle up here, this green one, because I've got a triangle and the angles in the triangle add up to 180. So if I add my 18 and 48 and take away from 180, I'll get that third angle is 14 degrees. So let's put that in. So now we've got the angles in that non-right angle triangle. This triangle here, if I just show you which one I'm talking about. And I've got one side. Now I've got to think, can I find another side? And a really useful side would be the side I'm calling A because then I could start to use this right angle triangle here. So again, have a think, how could you find A? And you might want to stop the video again and then restart it. Well, here's the triangle on its own. And remember, I want to find A. Now, why did I call it A? Well, if you remember, Amy was standing at point A. And we always call the side opposite the angle. If the angle is capital A, the side is little a. Let's call that B and that C. So that side there is opposite B would be little b. And this side here is opposite C. So that would be little c. Now, what we've got is we have angle A is 18 degrees. Angle B is 148 degrees. Angle C is 14 degrees. Side C is 30 metres. And we want side A. Now, it's not a right angle triangle, so we will either be using the cosine rule or the sine rule. Let's first of all consider the cosine rule. Cosine rule a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a. Well, we want to find a, but it appears we need b and c for that, and we don't have b. So the cosine rule is no good. Let's consider the sine rule. a over sine a is b over sine b is c over sine c. Well, I've got side C, I can tick that. I've got angle C, so I can find sine C. I've got angle A, so I can find sine A. And I want little a. So if I can remove 
this one, I can use the sine rule a over sine a equals c over sine c and find a that way. And to do that, all I need to do is put in everything I know. So instead of c, I'm going to put in that 30. Instead of sine a, it's sine 18 degrees. Instead of sine c, it's sine 14 degrees. And a little bit of rearrangement, take that sine 18 up to the other side, gives me a is 30 over sine 14 times sine 18. Put that in the calculator, a will be 38.3. So I'll put that in and I'll just add my metres because it was a height we were talking about. Now has this helped? Well, let's look at the full diagram again. I've put back on this right angle triangle. I've put in my 38.3 now, my 32. Now we've got the angle. So how can we find this side R that we want? Again, I'll pause for a minute. You have a think about it and then carry on in a minute. Well, we know that the 38.3 is the hypotenuse. It's opposite the right angle. We know that the R is the opposite side. It's opposite the angle we're dealing with. And therefore, this third side here, this must be the adjacent. So I've got the hypotenuse. I want the opposite. I'm going to use Sokotoa here. And I'll have the hypotenuse. I want the opposite. So I'm going to use sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Or to be more correct, sine x, sine of the angle is the opposite over the hypotenuse. And my angle is 32 degrees. So I can put that in and I can put in R was my opposite and my 38.3 was the hypotenuse. And again, a little bit of rearrangement. Take that 38.3 up. R is 38.3 times sine 32. Put that into the calculator and R will come out to be 20.3. And again, I'll put in metres. It's a height. Now, we haven't quite found the height of the building, don't forget. But we know that that side that we called R was 20.3. Let's add on Amy's height at 1.6. And the height of the building will be 21.9 metres. And that's how to answer a question like this on trigonometry.